Hey guys, welcome to Listertainment, a channel that does not do justice to its own name. On today's list we have photos and videos about predators that got much more than they expected from their prey that they were hunting. Although these battles are a bit sad to see, it's a bit nice to see the losers winning a battle and turning the food chain on its head. The prey was able to surprise their hunters in a way that is rarely seen but is incredibly fascinating. If you like this video please subscribe and give it a like down below. Also turn on notifications so you know when I upload more videos. And please let me know down in the comments which animal you wish would get revenge against their own predator. Let's start with a family of cheetahs who went after a gazelle. At first it seemed that they had a chance to hunt the gazelle since the prey seemed to be immobilized because the whole family of cheetahs was biting it and scratching it. The cheetah pulls at Jabari looking for a stranglehold. He cannot get away. He is anchored in place by the hunter's teeth. But Jabari will not let this be his end. He finds every last ounce of strength and drives his enemy into the ground. But the gazelle used its much larger size to defeat them and went after the adult, digging its horn deep into its belly. That eventually led to the death of the cheetah. I wonder how often this actually works because the gazelle is about three times larger than an adult cheetah. This was a bad idea from the beginning. But hunger can be a real mother effort. In the following video we have a boy who encountered two fish that at first glance seemed to be a Siamese type situation. Okay, okay, that doesn't actually make sense. Since if Siamese twins were ever born this way they would die extremely fast since they have no way to eat. Well basically it's one fish that bites more than it can chew, like much much more. I wonder if both fish were going for the same prey, but one ended up with an open mouth bigger than the other fish and ended up wrapping its mouth around the other fish and getting stuck. And it turns out that the fish were actually still alive, so it just recently happened. I mean his mouth is stretched, both still alive. Crazy. Crazy. Arriving at number 8 we have a greedy pelican who wanted to eat the head of a very large fish but it did not fit in his giant ass mouth. This damn pelican didn't want to give up trying to eat that fish no matter what happened. But fortunately the humans were there to intervene and save its life. Watching the pelican at the end of the video it seemed that he still wanted the head and was pretty damn angry that they took it away from him. In this next video we have a giraffe that takes revenge on a group of lions by killing one of them by just using his powerful kicks. <gasps> it's twitching, yeah? Wow. Ever seen a giraffe kill? There you go. Who's next? Whoa! Oh! After the lions killed its baby, the giraffe chases one of the lions and begins to attack, even checking several times to make sure the lion was dead or very badly injured before walking away and trying to go after another lion. This giraffe is the John Wick of the animal kingdom. At number 6 we have a crocodile that travels quite far from the water to try to get a tasty piece of live bacon by chasing some wild boars. No. 
He makes an attempt towards the babies, but the parents soon react and begin to bite and collide with the crocodile, which allows the babies to move away from danger. The truth was that the parents were to blame because they just stared at the crocodile while he was getting closer and closer. It's like the story of Harambe, rest in peace, and the boy's mother who didn't take care of him before he got into the cage. Now we have two similar videos that are very creepy and it's of something that I have never seen before. We have two squirrels killing snakes. They're not even trying to scare them away. They keep pushing and trying to kill them. And it seems that they actually eat them in the end. Rocky, I don't like seeing things get hurt, but boy you're one badass snake killer. Holy cow. This has got to be the ancestor of the mongoose right here in action. Yeah, that's her prize for the night. Who would have thought these things would eat a snake, but she'll actually finish that thing off or do a good job trying. I always thought of squirrels as cute little creatures, but apparently they can be ruthless when they protect their nests. This is awesome! Oh, it got him in the head. That's good. That's good. Ooh. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, look at his head! That's what you call a bloody snake. In this next video we have a little snake that is about to eat a centipede that is also very dangerous and poisonous. The centipede is almost the same size as the snake, but the snake still does its best and manages to eat the centipede only to have the centipede fight back. The centipede manages to kill the snake inside its stomach and in the end also succumbs to the snake's venom. This centipede said, if you kill me, then I'll kill you too. We can both go to hell together. Here we have a lion who thought he was very brave to face a wildebeest alone at the edge of the river. But the wildebeest stood up to him man to man and made him back off. The lion still wanted to show he wasn't a coward. He attacked again. But when the wildebeest stood up to him again, then he truly started to run away. At this point, when you see the lion trying to escape, you can see the fear in his face. The lion suddenly becomes a kitten and even I wanted to help him out. He is like a lot of bullies out there that say a lot of things, but when you face them, they end up backing down. Now we have another scenario of a fish against fish. But what makes this video so interesting to me is the fact that after the pike tried to eat the bass and not be able to put it in his mouth, that he would not release it before he died. In the end, they both died and then froze on the surface of the lake, causing this guy to discover a very bleak scene. The prey got revenge because he knew that winter was coming, just like in Game of Thrones, and decided to kill the predator along with himself, just as Goku did when he grabbed his brother and sacrificed himself so that Piccolo could kill them both. <laughs> Here we have the story and the images of a Burmese python that ate a giant American crocodile. But it was too big and he ended up exploding. Or possibly the claws or the crocodile's barbs cut the snake open, causing both animals to die. This scene was discovered by pilot Michael Barrett when he saw it while flying. It is a 6 foot crocodile being eaten by a 13 foot python. The other strange thing was that the snake was missing its head and the experts think it's because another predator ate it after it had died. Well, as you can see, we can all fight back and defeat our bullies. So don't back down, my friends. Learn from these animals, and not from me, because I was too cowardly to put my own bullies in their place. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.